Good morning, y'all. It's a beautiful fall day today. The only problem is it's like 85 degrees. <laughs> so if you're where it's cool, please enjoy it. It's still hot here. Today, you know where we are. We're at Miss Pat's. And I just wanted to give you all a look at all of her beautiful fall decor. Her yard is just, look at those big old pecan trees she has in her yard big old oaks. It's just a beautiful, beautiful setting. And she just makes it even more beautiful with all of her decorating and designs. And it's, it's just fall here. I can feel the cool weather. This is her front porch. It always looks amazing. And she has the most beautiful view when she sits in her little sitting area, which you've seen before. But it's fall today. But I want you to look at this little look of there. She's got her the cutest little bluebird sitting on her little bicycle that's full of pumpkins on her way home from the pumpkin patch. So let's see if Miss Pat's ready for us. We're ready for her. There she is. <laughs> She's all ready for us. <laughs> How's it been going? You having you just enjoying this good, cool fall weather? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's better than the 100 anyway. Yes, it is. At least it's what 85. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. gonna go up to 90 today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we're. But listen, when you walk in here, it's cool. It looks like fall. It just looks like that we're ready to just have a pumpkin patch in here. This is so pretty. When you come in, this is her her little hallway that she's created because her house, like we told you before, is an older house and there's not a hallway. So she's kind of created her an entrance here. And it's really, really pretty. What I like about this is that it's a mixture. It's not all white, all orange, all yellow, all rust. She has the combination. And that way, there's a little bit of everything here. Let me just take a closer look. She always picks the prettiest flowers. Have you all, did you add anything new this year or did you just shop in your own little house? I, I really, you know, I might have bought a twig here and there, but really not. We got to buy a anything. twig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those <laughs> twigs are something that we have yeah. to buy all the time. But she just rearranges it and it looks, looks like she's bought a whole bunch of new stuff. Yeah. I told her she's got to come to my house and help me redesign. <laughs> Let's talk about the living room. I see you put some blue in here. I did. Did you mean to put blue in here or was it like me sometimes it's like, oh that blue pillow works. No, I I I had already figured out I was gonna use some of the blue, yeah. Do you have do you find a picture or a, a certain thing that you that you kind of build off of? Like, I normally look for a picture that's got the colors that I want to use this year. Yeah. Uh, like, um, in the spring, well, okay, last fall. I used some blue last fall because I had found a plate that had the colors that I wanted. An inspiration. I guess you'd say an inspiration piece. Right. Or do you pull it out and just start going? I, I think I just pull it out and I try something. If it doesn't work, well, then I try something else. <laughs> <laughs> I totally get that now. All right, let's just take a little gander around the living room. We'll come back and get a little closer shot of it. I do want to end up here because there's some things I really want to talk about. But we're going to go straight into the dining room. This is that beautiful piece that reminds me that she has a fire, but she doesn't. <laughs> I love that. The dining room, the warmest place in the house, because everybody wants to come to the dining room. Look how pretty she made this. I love that she angled that though. It's not straight on, it's angled. And I, I really like the fact she did that. And I and why I like it is because when you come in, you see it instead of seeing the side of it, which we normally want it to be straight on. We just don't want to angle very much of anything, but if you'll notice. Miss Pat angled a lot of things, so that's a good tip to look at. She's got her little 
elbow down there, over the pumpkin, and there's a turn. Love the turn. I think, Pat, I think that you like to collect jars and churns because you have so many beautiful ones. Is it conscious or is it just I like that I'm going to buy it? <laughs> I, I, no, I, I look for the mainly the crocs and churns and stuff like that. And if you'll notice, guys, they're not all filled with something. They're, and in fact, most of them are empty, which makes a, it, it, I don't know, I like the way it looks. And she has this one full, but it's, it's very subtle. I like the way she is very subtle, but she's very intentional. That's, that's hard to find in a lot of different things. Even in her little throw, she's got her colors that she uses in the room. And she makes sure that the pictures and the paintings and everything just kind of blends in there. And by the way, Pat wants to say hello to her sisters <laughs> and her brother. Yeah. Go ahead, they're in. Where are they? Tell them where they are. I have one in Minnesota, my baby sister. I have one in in Vegas, and then the rest of them are all in California. And I think somebody's coming to visit, aren't they? Yeah, Gary and Janie's coming tomorrow and stay a week. Oh, and um, fun. yeah, and then in a week after that, I'm going to go go to California, and I have nieces and nephews that I've never seen so wonderful yeah so. I think she said she was gonna stay 17 days y'all what a great vacation <laughs> especially when you get that gives you time to rest and enjoy yeah it does and and that's a gift from my stepson John oh uh, wow for my birthday listen to that <laughs> is that not the coolest thing what a great gift yes he's a good guy so he right? is a, he yeah. is really good he is a good guy mm -hmm. I wanted to give you a closer look at her little the way she did this I just love the way she's simple but yet it's not simple maybe we can get her over to my house and, and put me together a little bit different I don't know. Sometimes if you're going to pull out all your stuff and you go, hmm, no, I really don't like any of this. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do your bedroom again? I just put, a, you know, a touch in there, not much. There. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you how just a touch works in the past. Just a touch. Okay. There's only a pumpkin over there with a little sprig, but look how gorgeous it is. And it is. It's just a touch. I love the way that she popped her picture. And then she decided what color she wanted to use because this time she used rough. And then she just went off and then she arranged and didn't arrange her little throw. And then she just put now these are simple white daisies, which a lot of people don't think of those as fall, but we have them blooming around here now. We yes. have the daisies. The white daisies do bloom here in the fall. But that's that's just how simple you can make it and it it still says fall, it still says I'm decorating, it still says it's beautiful in here, but it's it's just little touches. And and really the orange says it all. But I guess that's rust. That's yeah, not it is kind of a rust color. It is rust. I was telling Miss Pat earlier, I loved orange at one time, but everything is orange now, and I don't like the orange, so I've got to do something about that. <laughs> All right, let's go into her cute, can we go into your cute little room? I bet you you have it fixed, don't you? Oh, yeah. This, uh, this big piece in here is what I love to decorate. Oh, yes. Ma'am, oh wow, and what a joy it is to decorate it. That is gorgeous. I, I just, I'm, my words are gone. I'm going to take a slow look at it. 
She has a variety of different colors of pumpkins. She also has a variety of the, the goldens and um, the butter yellow. That's so pretty. The other thing that we have here in the south is we still have green. Our leaves, when, even when our leaves turn, we have green here in Alabama. So I love the fact that she has put the green and left it in there because that's what it looks like outside. We'll have yellow leaves and we have very few red leaves, but most of them are orange, but she's kept that green in there. And then, can you get your back view? The big pillow candles are just mm, spot on. She just very simple, her little breakfast nook right here. She just really simple. That's wooden bowls that she stacked and stacked and stacked and then just put a little ball in there of, of a greenish mini color actually. And then I love her little wreath that she set it on. Can y'all remember? <laughs> I love her Murphy bed. I think that's just the coolest thing ever. I wish I had a place to put a Murphy bed just because I think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to come back here one more time so you can get some ideas. She has those boxes. She has her books in there. And something she did that when I was pulling things out, I have tons of books. But my books are like hers. They're the darker. And I'm like, I need some bright, but what she did is she turned them so that the pages show, so therefore they're bright, and it brightens it up. And I like, I like the fact that it did that because sometimes I get too dark with my things. And if you'll notice, this crock is sideways. It's laying down. They're not all standing up, and that gives it a, a great interest. And something else that we that she's done that I think is great is that's just twigs. It has no flowers, it has nothing. It's just a twig wreath that she's found. And I think it's great to shop your yard also. Mm -hmm. And this is a very simple piece. She put a wooden, I guess this is a, a door or something that she's leaned back up there so she can have a, a backdrop for her dobo full of pumpkins. And then she just set it on a piece of wood, which is wonderful. This room is probably one of my favorite rooms. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna go into her kitchen. Pat has a wonderful tip for us. She, we were just talking about, I just love the way, how bright her house is, how wonderful it looks, but tell them what you just told me about decorating. You only decorate for you. Yes. Whatever I like, that's what I do. It doesn't matter if that's the correct way for somebody else. It's the correct way for me. That's great advice. Great advice. She also decorates in vignettes. And I don't know if I learned that from her because I've known Miss Pat for a long time, but I decorate in vignettes too. It, it, for example, this is a vignette that is one solid area she has decorated and it all blends and it's leaves and baskets and a cute little sign and then down here it's a totally different look she has her churns she has her jars um, you know and then she's put orange here and it's in it's a vignette and the same thing here. It's her white pictures with a little bit of, well, orange and subtle colors with her pumpkin, and that makes a vignette. So think about that. If you take one thing away from Miss Pat's hat, that's it. Don't, it doesn't have to all match. Mm -mm. It just has to be you has to reflect who you are. Mine right now reflects that I do have ADD. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and I love it. I absolutely love it. This is a cute trick. She has a big jar and she just put something in it. Down in it. It didn't have to come up. And a little bird. He's so cute. 
I just want you to see every inch of how gorgeous this house is. And remember we talked about this last time. This was her fireplace. And you all just gave her so much love last year. She just, and her sisters got to see it, and her brothers got to see it, and she was so excited about that. And this, when she designed the kitchen, she did, a, to me, a great thing. She put glass in there. Now, that might scare me to death, but I know why she did it. It just opened the room up. It would al almost be a solid wall if she had put solid um, doors on those cabinets. Yeah, those, those are the cabinets that were in this house, the top ones. Oh. I, and all I did was, was paint them. Wow, and, that's amazing. This was an amazing house. Mm -hmm, it was. It, it needed a lot of love. It was an amazing house. We have lots of pretty old houses. And the neighbor, Miss Charlotte was telling me about the neighbor that's moved down into the rock house. Mm -hmm. She is, yeah, she's the preacher's wife mm -hmm. in Prattville, and I forgot her name. Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, yes. I'm going to try to talk her into letting me see her house. I understand it is beautiful. She's it is. <laughs> she has primitives, and I, I just love primitives. Another thing I want you to notice is her basket that she has here. Mine, I tend to just throw them in there, but look how cute that is. She's got them stacked up. And then she threw in a little blue in there, and that, what that blue does, it just pops out those colors that she has. Were these windows here, or did you add those? I add the, the added shutter those. windows. Mm -hmm, I did. You need that sofa. And this is such a pretty arrangement. Now, she has the blue pillows, which we saw when we came in. And one thing that we have not seen anywhere else in the house, she has a blue pumpkin. It's a blue green. And they're actually, that's a really a pumpkin that they grow that are that color. So that just kind of pops the blue around. In her plaid, there's some blue in that. It's very subtle, but you can see it. There's blue in that. And she just popped them around the room. Even in her picture, there's a blue truck. Of uh, uh, someone's beautiful wedding. That's my granddaughter. <laughs> oh, that's her granddaughter's wedding. But even that blue pops around the room very subtly. Big white double with a pretty beautiful pumpkin. Her bicycle just blends in. I just wanted you all to see Miss Pat's house for this fall. How she makes it all fall, but yet it's not. It's just. It's just a very graceful, easy walk through her home. You're so sweet to let us come. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it so much. Is there anything we need to know to get our house to look like this other than call you? Just kidding. <laughs> 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 I think she kind of just is osmosis. It's just something that Pat knows how to do and does it. I'm going to give you a little bit closer look here at the hutch. I meant to do that while ago, and I just forgot. There's just... So many pretty, pretty underpants, you enjoy it like I do. It's such a warm feeling. In every nook and corner, it, 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 sometimes I think it's every nook and corner is decorated, but it's not. She just has a way of making it look like fall. Thank you so much for letting us come. You're quite you welcome. You enjoy your trip. I will. <laughs> <laughs> 17 days with family. Mm -hmm. That's yep. going to be awesome. Yes, it is. All right. See you later, guys. Okay. Bye, y'all.